My name is Jacob. I come from Sudan. Sudan is in the Africa, in the East Africa. It's a not good time to stay in the Sudan because it's a tough moment for me. So I left my land, my family, to escape. When I reached um, Bor Sudan, I found somebody who helped me to go in, in the ship. So when I was going to the ship, I don't know where the ship is going for, where the ship is come from. I don't know where the ship is going, uh, and I don't know where is the sailing. Uh, in the ship, I've got one uh, small room, very dark. I hide myself in that room, and uh, I didn't go out. I will stay. I've got dry food and small uh, water to drink. When I reach the England, I am absolutely, I don't know what this place in the world should be, it's going to be an um, um, England, should be, it's going to be an um, um, one of the, the Arab countries, should be, it's going to be the country of the, um, Africa. Absolutely, I don't know where is myself in the world. So when I get out in the ship, the police is arrest me. When the police is arrest me, so and she know a little bit about me, where they come from, and and why they come here. And then um, I take a little bit while to process to finish every um, the the paperwork and something like that about uh, 28 days and then they send me direct to Plymouth and then um, I went out in the home to to found uh, what the city so look like? So when I out, I walk, and suddenly I lost, I lost my home. It take me about six hours to, to came back. When I went little bit further, and I lost again. It's not great this time. I've got many friends from different ethnic, different country, different place. I am very happy, I'm very proud about my life here. Plymouth now my home. But in the end, I lost my regional land, family, friend, my animals my tribes and my ethnic but there's no choice to stay that in that place but this is a tough choice to escape and still alive so this is my little history and this is my life, and my life in Plymouth. Thank you.